who give their insulin and journey with them. And the same ought to be true for how we walk with those who have mental illness. I would add one more to this list, and that's this. We can be aware of and use our political voice. Simply put, those who have mental illness in this country are often, far too often, the first to receive cuts in funds and aid and resources. Iowa, for instance, is among the worst in the nation in money spent per capita and the amount of beds available for emergency mental health care. That doesn't need to be so. And we, using our collective voices, can work to change it by locally talking to Unity Point, asking them why they don't have another floor anymore for those who have mental illness. And at a state and local level, talking to our leaders, writing them, writing letters to the editor, calling our congressmen, calling our state legislatures, calling Governor Reynolds and Tim Cranbrink and uh, Ms. Myers, first I've forgotten, who just got elected, and saying to them, hey, work on this, because it's important to us. We can do this. We can be advocates in all the ways listed and in other ways that I have not listed or talked about to help care for those with mental illness. We can, and I would say to those of us who don't have an illness right now, we should. The story of Naomi ends well. Ruth and Boaz find one another. Obed is born, and we know from the text that King David's not far away. It's a couple generations. And Naomi, her full self once again, almost miraculously becomes Obed's nurse. But the story of mental illness in this country and in our world is not quite this way. There's no cure. There's no happily ever after. There is instead a lifelong struggle and battle. Medications and treatment can and do often make this more manageable. And because I've not yet said this, I only add to that statement, if you are a person who is struggling with mental illness, because medications and treatment can make life more manageable, please seek help. Please find help. And if you don't know where to look, talk to me. I will find it, or I'll talk to people who do. Because medications and treatment can make life more manageable and livable. Friends, there's no happy ending here. There's no ending that wraps things up neatly. Our brothers and sisters who struggle with mental illness don't get to lay that struggle down. And therefore, neither should we. Let us keep our caring. Let us have no end to it. Let us become allies today and now and always to our brothers and sisters in this community, in this town, in this state, and around the world, caring for them and loving them, just like the God who created them 